Every exhibit was designed with the photo in mind. People leave this place taking with them the memories through their smartphones. So for the entertainment industry, this is so important. The old style museum is boring. The new style museum is the one that you can communicate easily to your friends and family and uh, go back and re remind yourself by seeing your uh, photos in your uh, phone. Those are the words of the co-founder of this place. A spot where your severed head makes for a lovely centerpiece. Intimidating giants and cowering subjects can trade places, and visitors are even encouraged to put their feet up on the couch. It's the brand new Paradox Museum, which just opened up earlier this month in London and features 50 exhibits like these across 25 rooms. And unlike other storied institutions of culture that offer up a chance to capture a bad version of the exact same photo as everyone else, this place place is tailor-made to let you capture a good version of the exact same photo as everyone else. This museum is designed for all kinds of audience. For the audience that just wants to have fun and take pictures, or the audience that wants to dig in deeply into the science behind the paradoxes. Yeah, as their corporate website notes, this museum is a spot for intriguing amusement, and not so much a spot to appreciate cherished antiquities, perverted as they may be. But this paradoxical place does offer up a chance for visitors to learn about the science behind each exhibit's optical illusion. So you have QR codes that explain the science behind that, and uh, every exhibit is a product of years of research and development that was done uh, prior to COVID and during COVID. So this is the Paradox Museum London tube station. It is an upside down tube station, so you can take some incredible photographs in here, have an absolutely awesome time. You can stand on top of the tube station, underneath the tube train, and just completely defy gravity and wow all your friends. This guy's the general manager of the museum, showing off one way to mind the gap between the train and the platform that'll impress others. Every experience that we do nowadays, we want to remember, we want to share it with all of our friends, and this is the perfect place to do this. We've got so many spaces, so many exhibits, so much fun that you can have, and some great photo opportunities, like this one right here, where you're just gonna turn the picture upside down and suddenly you've got something awesome to share. As we've told you about recently here on your Daily News Refresh, please subscribe. There are lots of travel spots these days, catering to the discerning Instagram tourists, hoping to snap a photo that'll make their story seem interesting. From Brazil's Telegraph Rock, where tourists hike a mile to snap a shot from a ledge that looks very dangerous yet is very not, to Japan's Mount Fuji Lawson, where a majestic convenience store framed by a typical mountain has led to so much over tourism Tourism, a black net was put up to block visitors from taking selfies at the best vantage point. And when it comes to seeking out an Instagrammable travel photo, this recent study out of current issues in tourism with the catchy title, Cyber Physical Traveler Performances and Instagram Travel Photography as Ideal Impression Management, analyzed a bunch of travel photos and determined that less than 2% of them featured just a landscape, with the remaining 98% reinforcing self-presentation strategies, aka showing off where you are with yourself in the photo as the foremost most importance. And, well, this Paradox Museum is effectively tailor-made for your foremost importance. Oh, it's huge. I think it's massive for absolutely everybody. We all have friends, we all know people all over the world. We can't send individual photographs to everyone, so we use social media. And having a space like this where we can take some really fun photographs, create some really unique experiences, and share them with our friends is just absolutely brilliant. London's Paradox Museum, located right across from the famous Harrods department store, isn't the only place where you can experience the illusion of separation anxiety. There's actually a chain of Paradox Museums, with locations in Oslo, Stockholm, Miami, Barcelona, and more. London marks museum number 12, with many more of these places planned to open up throughout the year. And hey, if you're not subscribed to our channel, you can easily change that without a mind-bending illusion. Just hit the subscribe button to get more weird and interesting news stories from at the news refresh in your feed. Like this one from a while back about a museum that recreated what Egyptian mummies smelled like. Yum.